OpenAI has just released a new version of Codex and now we can access Codex directly inside our favorite IDE. So just like Klein, Kilo Code, Roo Code, now you can access Codex as well directly inside your IDE. And in this video, we're going to test how Codex works on a larger code basis. Right now, I have a Flutter application in here. So right now you can see this is my Flutter application right now running in my browser and it's a fully functional application. You can see all of different functionalities in here. I developed this project originally using Augment Code. So now in this video, we're going to use codex and see if codex can understand this project which was originally built by augment code and can we continue the further development of our application in a different ai coding agent in a different video we'll compare codex with other ai coding agents like line or like maybe augment code or in fact with cloud code as well but in this video we're going to ask codex to first understand the existing code base and then we'll try to integrate ai functionalities inside our application we'll try to integrate different ai models and see how codex actually performs so before you start please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well and please hype this video it will help us to reach more audience all right so once you have installed codex on vs code currently you can see i'm using vs code but you can use cursor or windsurf or any other similar id so now let's just ask codex to first understand this project and then we'll give it the next task to give it the first task you can see there is this auto context button as well if i just click on this button you can see basically what it does it includes the recent files and other context so the recent or uh, changings that were made in this file it includes the context for that there are different modes as well the first one is chat mode then there is agent mode and then there is agent mode with full access so what i'll do i'll simply click on this agent mode with full access and now next i can select a ai model in here i can select any variants of these gpt5 models so this is the basic prompt that i'm giving it you are inside a flutter project please understand this project and i want you to integrate ai functionalities in this project using glm 4.6 so this is the ai model that i want to use through open router so open router is a platform where you can access different ai models through api and here you can see i just provided it with this api key and also i provided this sample code as well to use this api key so what i did i just went to open router and then i just created an api key inside open router and then i just selected this ai model which is lm 4.6 and then i just got this api key documentation from here inside this api section and then i just copied that from there and then i just provided that inside codex so now all good what next i want to do i just wanted to now explain that how it needs to create an ai functionality so let's just maybe add an ai chatbot so please add an ai chatbot in our app user can ask questions about health and fitness so this is my simple prompt that i just gave it in here now i'll just press enter and now let's see what it does so right now you can see it has just started working first it is going to examine this project and have a look what we have done so far so so far it is just understanding our project let's just wait for it to start working and start writing code and then integrate that functionality now it has started editing this particular code file which is pubspec.yaml because this is flutter so it added http dependency to pubspec because i think maybe for api call so it, it has just like added that uh, in there so then after that it is going to design ai chat service with http calls yeah so it added that for api call now it has created a new dart file which is chat message dot dart file and then created a new service file which is ai chat service dot dart file if you have no idea about flutter so in flutter we use dart language to design the flutter application okay so apparently it has just finished writing code and these are the files that it just edited so let's just test our application you can see currently it is running so let me just refresh our application and see if we have a new functionality in here okay so where is our chat functionality there is no chat widget so let's just ask it to add a chat widget to test it please add a chat widget to test it press enter okay finally after so many attempts and after like i think spending more than 15 to 20 minutes on this basic task it has finally added this chat functionality chat widget in here so i just i rerun my application and let's just say hi okay so it's thinking it's a glm 4.6 is that a thinking model i'm not sure so okay perfect hi i'm site stride coach okay perfect whether you need perfect so that means the chatbot is working and the api calling and everything is working fine and we just like added a new functionality into our existing application using this pretty codex let me just add it a question please share a meal plan or something i don't know so 
yeah so it has added that widget on our main workout screen as well then it has added this chatbot this chat box basically inside this navigation menu as well so that is all right okay so it shared this meal plan so yeah, it took some time i think around 30 40 seconds in thinking but it has shared meal plan that means this ci model is working fine integration is working fine open router is integrated and yeah everything is working fine so yeah, performance wise it was good enough it was not as good as we have cloud code or in fact not as good as kilo code as well i will actually make comparison video with cloud code and with kilo code as well with gpt codex so yeah stay tuned and i see you next video bye bye